What's up guys? In this video, we'll take a look at Pascal's triangle problem. Difficulty level is easy. So we're given number of rows and for that many rows, we need to generate Pascal's triangle. So obvious question, what is Pascal's triangle, right? Let's go to the Wikipedia. Let's see what Pascal's triangle is. So if we just look at this image, that's all we have to do. So as we can see, previous row helps you form the next row in Pascal's triangle. So let's look at this one now. So third row, one plus one, two, one, two, one. Fourth row is two plus one, three, two plus one, three. That forms third row. Fifth row, three plus one, four, three plus three, six, three plus one, four. So likewise, so each previous row helps you form the next row and that's your Pascal's triangle. Uh, you guys can read this article like it was named after French mathematician Blaise Pascal. There were other people using it like Indian mathematician, Chinese, Germany, Italy, Persia, everybody. But it was just named after him. So uh, it's there on Wikipedia. So uh, now that we understand what Pascal triangle is, we need to implement it. So let's see how we'll tackle it, how we'll approach it, and then we'll come back and run the code. Okay, this is our Pascal's triangle whiteboard. Uh, for simplicity, we'll take five rows. That's enough. Uh, we can extend it, it just same approach, but for more rows. So for simplicity, we'll just do five rows. So obviously the first two, row, first two rows are straightforward. It just one and then one, one, right? There's nothing into it. So we can take that. Now, what we do is we take the current row or the previous row uh, in our row variable. And what we do is we insert one more one at the start. So let's do that. So we did that. And now we iterate or loop over that row and we add the current number and the next number, except the first and last. So let's see what that means. So we'll take first number as is, now we'll add this number and next number. So one plus one will be two and we'll take last number as is, so one. So that's our next row in Pascal's triangle, right? So we'll add it to result one, two, one. Now this is our row variable. We repeat the process. What did we do last time? We added one at the start and then we iterate over the row and keep adding numbers. So we'll take first number as is. Then we add these two numbers, three. We add these two numbers, three. And then we take last number as is. That's our next row, right? One, three, three, one. And you guys know what we'll do next, right? We add one at the start and then we loop over it to add the numbers. We take First number as is, three plus one, four, three plus three, six, three plus one, four, and then last number as is. And that's our fifth row. One, four, six, four, one. And likewise, if we keep doing that, we'll keep getting the next rows. So that's it, guys. Let's go to the Visual Studio code. Let's make sure that we are able to handle the list of integer and then list of list of integer to hold the result and how we actually do it. So let's do that. Okay, so this is our Java code for Pascal triangle. Uh, yeah, we are having a result array, which is like list of list. And then we have row, which is our list of integer. And what we do, as we discussed, like we add one at the start of the row and then we loop over the row and then we add the current element and next element except for first and last and that's how our that's how we get next row for the Pascal's triangle and then once we have it we add it to the result and note that while adding it to the result we create a new array list of row so technically we are copying that row into result if we just add row as is we would be adding by reference and then when we come back for next iteration, it'll change that reference that we added. So we don't want to do that. We want to copy that whole items in the result and then 
we want to move on to the next row. So that's why we do new array list. So that's kind of like deep copy kind of thing. If you are like from C++ world, if you know pointers and everything, then you know what is like deep copy and shallow copy and all that. So uh, there you go, guys, uh, straightforward code. So, but uh, by the way, like, do you guys know like uh, Pascal is a programming language? Yeah, if you guys don't know, then yeah, you sh guys should check it out. Like, uh, yeah, they made us like when I was in college days, like back in like 2001, 2002, we had like a one class for Pascal programming language. And then they made us write programs in Pascal, similar things. And then that's it. I mean, even during those days, Pascal was old, like C++ was already like in and, and everybody was doing C++, but we still had Pascal and I never did Pascal after that. So thankfully, <laughs> so let's run this code. Uh, it's for Firos. So there you go. Uh, we have our Pascal triangle for Firos. Obviously we can change number of rows and we can get bigger triangle. Let's just run it once and let's see uh, how it looks. So yeah, there you go. Obviously like I didn't print it properly. Like once you have double digits, the spacing calculation just went heavy. So uh, that, that, that's your Pascal triangle. So there you go, guys. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know your feedback and suggestion in comments. And then as usual, subscribe to the channel for more videos. See you in next one.